Time for another episode of Crowbot's Pilot Training Academy. In this episode, I wanted to show you how to do a name change for free. In this game, there's one thing I wish they would do, and that is to force you to give yourself a name after your initial pilot training. There's a, a small segment at the very beginning when you very first start playing this game where they're teaching you how to play it. And at an early stage in there, they should say, give yourself a name, pilot. And you should plug in a name that's not player underscore and a bunch of stupid crap. I think a lot of people like to hide behind that so that you'll think they're AI because it gives them an advantage. It really doesn't. Um, anybody who's been playing for a while can tell a human from an AI. And you just look like an idiot. Give yourself a damn name and show some pride in your abilities to play this game. Otherwise, you're just hiding behind a player name, hoping everybody thinks you're AI or can't find you or whatever. I know what you're driving. I'll find you. Anyway, if you want to change your name <clears throat> because you think your name sucks or you know, did player underscore doofus head or whatever it is you did. I don't know what I'm doing in there. Uh, oh, I was going into this. Yeah, there. I should just start this thing over. Maybe I'll just edit it. Who knows? Probably not. I'm too lazy. Anyway, here's my name. That's the name I gave myself. It costs 500 bucks to change it. If you've connected to Google, um, you can, you're basically saved. Everything you've done on up to this point is saved on Google. So, <clears throat> I think another thing this might be. Let me check real quick. Not there. Here. Used to be when you did this, it would, like, refresh that or something. I don't remember. Anyway, let's go do it. So, let's get out of here. Close it all down. Go to settings. Down to app. Applications, apps, all the way down to Robot Warfare. I was doing this video a few minutes ago and I got a phone call right about this part, so I've been trying to recreate it up to there. Where the heck are you? BQR, went past it, there it is. Go into, where is it, where is it, where is it? Storage, storage, open. And then... Just, uh, I think you got to clear the data, but I'm going to clear the data. So what happens is, is it, it takes all of your personal data out of the system. And it puts it back to where the game has just been freshly installed. So you have no player data in here now. It's going to be just like the very first time you went into the game. <laughs> So now it's asking for permission to get access to all those areas where it had those files that it was storing up. And in order to not have to go through all the initial process of this crap, it's going to it's gonna take you in like the very first time you played, and it's going to put you through the training system, the first match, all that stuff. So we're just going to exit out of that match. If I can do that. I've got all my recorder controls right right where that exit out of the match button's going to pop up. Should be able to get around it. Actually, I can make it go away. There we go. You can't see any of that crap I just did. Quit out of this. Escape. Bye bye and The problem I'm going to have is I've got lots of accounts. <laughs> Finding the one I was playing is going to be hard. Play. I don't know how that happened. How did that happen? Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, complete training. Skip. Go up here. Find to Google. It's going to ask me which account I want. I got a bunch of them. I'm an original geek. Okay, so I am originally a robot chicken. That's my original name, and then I created this account, and then this account. That's not the one I wanted. Eh. Well, let's see what's in here. <laughs> totally is not the one I wanted. I should just be able to log out and log back in, though. But the thing you'll find is now you can change your name. It doesn't cost you nothing. That's the whole point of this video that I'm trying to make. I'm just going to do this. I don't even know what I've got on this account. Let's go find out. Oh, it looks like a brand new account that's still getting lots of offers. So I need that. What do we got in here? Uh, any favorites? Uh, I do have a predator. 
with all kinds of goodness on there. Look at that. What was this predator? Level 8 predator with all that. I don't know what I was doing here. A level 10 mantis with all of that. Nice. And I'm guessing that's the only two robots in this whole, this whole thing. Should we see what level I'm in? Anyway, the point I wanted to make was, is now you come in here and you can change it for free. I'm going to try and go back out. Let's uh, sign out. Bind to. Let's see what happens. I think it should. Those are all my things. There we go. Anyway. That bot grinder one's real low level. Um, the previous crowbot one, I'm guessing all I had was the mantis. I'm not going to touch it again because. And then the rest of these. That level 24 one, don't know what I was doing there. The robot TPM. What was that TPM? The pyromaniacs. I'm not going to talk about that. Anyway, now you can change your name for free. So I'm going to change my name to Crowbots Pilot. Crowbots pilot training academy if that will fit and i'm going to throw a yt at the end of it i hope so i drive some people to my channels wow, this is, oh it does this every time that's right i forgot about that so every time you come in you're going to town it's going to show you all this stupid crap because it thinks you haven't seen it before and it didn't give me these i'm pretty sure this is a glitch in the game it's been there since forever and i just i didn't get these parts i'm pretty sure Otherwise, I'd probably have another banshee. And, if we go in here, um, I'd have to go back and look. That kind of looks the same, but it might be different than it was before. Um, they, people used to do all kinds of funky stuff by doing what I just did to clear the, clear the data. You can't clear the cache. It won't work. Clearing the cache just gets rid of the stuff that's not going to use. But clearing data gets rid of all your personal data from the from your device and it just basically takes you back in like as if it was me so it just not changed <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this other crap because that just makes me stand out so people know when i'm coming Oh, you can't use spaces. That's right. So, what should I put in there? So, if you go in here, and you go in here, and you go in here. Wait a minute. Something's. Use these. Wonder. No, nope, that's all I get. All right, that's not gonna work. Pretty sure that's not gonna work. I gotta do it over here. So you're learning more here than anywhere else, right? I wonder if it was that apostrophe that screwed it up. Can you not do one of those? No, can't do one of those. So... Oops, can't do those either, apparently. Can't do those either. I guess we'll just put a capital Y and a capital T and hope for the best. Uh, 
about that? And we're going to go without the S. And you get the whole crowbot thing, right? It's like saying robot, but with a K in the middle. Robot. Crowbot. Anyway. All right. That's what we're going to change it to. See if that drives some people to my videos. Nickname. What the hell? You let me put it all in there, and then you tell me it's too long. You're an asshole. Sorry for the language, but that's asshole. <sighs> All right. Crap. Crowbot pilot training. I don't know what to do now. And this video is getting stupid long. So, um, I guess you know. We'll just end the video here. I'll think about it for a bit. And you'll find out when you see me in there. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. What am I doing? Crowbots. Pilot. Academy. Crowbots Pilot School. I don't know. Crowbot. Pilot Training. Crowbot. How about if I just put YouTube at the end of this stupid thing? Yeah, we'll just do that. So. I don't like that. What do you think about that? Does that work? Yeah, we'll see what happens. I can always change it again for free if I got it. And now you too know how to change your name without it costing you 500 gold schmackaroons. All right, let's go see if anyone recognizes me, shall we? One match. Or 12 minutes. That ought to bring up to 15. That's a good good length for a video that you like to watch, right? Or would you rather I do the half hour? Hey, I can talk all day. Trust me on this. Definitely talk all day. I got a lot to say. What shall I do? What shall I do? This don't look right. Oh, it's because I don't have anything starred. That's why. I got to reset all my favorites. So you basically lose all your settings, whatever those might be. I got to go back in and set all my settings the same, too, because I don't like the... There's a lot of things the game doesn't want for me to do, so that's how it goes. I'd have to say there's a lot of humans in this match because jumping people jumping all over the place. Say jumping Jehoshaphat. Not sure. See how it works. When you're dealing with these missiles, you gotta wait until they've landed or dashed. Because if they've got to jump and they've got to dash and you go sling a little tin missile and you just waste them all through and jump away. Be in range. Yeah, that was like a perfect one right there. I jumped from cover to cover. Unloaded missiles in the process. Didn't fire all of them if I couldn't. If you're going to jump where there's something between you and your target, try and not fire your missiles 
while you're passing behind it. Those missiles are just going to hit whatever is going to run into them and do not do any good. The key to winning with this bot missile combo is all the missiles got to hit. If the missile's not going to hit, do not shoot it. It takes way too long to reload. And all that jazz. Also, don't waste 10 missiles on something that only takes one or two to, to finish off. It's just wasteful. Conserve your ammo. It's not like the Battlefield Alliance people got money to waste on your inability to hit a target with a missile. These things don't grow on trees, you know. I would have been inclined to have fired one last missile because the missile I fired hadn't reached the target yet, but that was the missile that was going to kill it. So I had to restrain from But I've been doing that most of the time I play this. I end up wasting that last missile. So do as I say, not as I do. All right, should I take out this hoplite in one fell swoop? Let's see what we can do to it. There's all 10 missiles. And it didn't quite finish it off. And I don't think all those missiles hit it either, so... I better get my ass behind something here pretty soon. And that guy seems to be hunting me. When in doubt, back the hell out, you know what I'm saying? You can always jump in to fight another day. Have I discussed the people that get pissed off and like drop into the center of the map because if I didn't keep shooting, I'm not still too many missiles. Sometimes I try and pride myself on doing just as many missiles as I need. Give me one more dash, buddy. Dash in one more time. I'm thinking he doesn't have another dash. What do you think? See, that was kind of smart. He did dash in, but I think he saved a dash in case I shot him. There it is. That's the one. That's how you got to do it right there. That is exactly how you got to do it. All right, I'm going to let this poor sap fight it out with my, room, my uh, teammate there. I don't think his teammate's coming back. I don't think I got my teammates hit points on. That's a setting I got to turn on. It's nice to be able to point your cursor at your teammate and figure out how healthy they are. Should I? Should I rescue my little guy? Yeah, he's going to rock. I wish I could tell who that is. Which way is he going to go with it there? If I'd have had to take him on myself, he'd have probably taken me out. Alright, let's go back in and set my settings the way I want them set. Hopefully I wasn't covering the microphone up too much on that. About where I hold this thing is about where the little teeny microphone hole is. Oh, that was the other thing it resets, is it resets all that crap. So, I already did that for yesterday, but now I can do it again. So, if you want to keep redoing that, just keep going in and clearing it, <clears throat> and then coming back in. You literally reset these every day. Or not those, but the other ones. Okay, yeah. See, and I got three ones of those. Three gold. So, there's a way you can cheat if you want. It's, it's, an, it's a bit after, but if you only got one account, it's not that bad. Actually, even if you got multiple, it's not so bad. So, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'm going to end this video, but I'm going to go back in my options real quick and I'll show you how I set that stuff. So, I like the music nice and low. It's annoying ass music. Turn that shit off. Turn the effects down a little bit so you guys don't have to listen to that crap so much. Sensitivity, I like to be a little bit higher. Graphics, I don't care about. FPS counter, I don't mess with, but you might want to. I don't know about that adaptive movement stick. I'm like, I think it. It plops the stick down wherever you touch your screen or something. It's kind of obnoxious, so I don't mess with it. Camera shake can go the hell away. All the hit points I need. Invert Y in battle. That's so that your up and down go opposite of what they do, apparently. It would just mess.
mess me up. But I go into Grand Theft Auto and I got to do that or I can't drive the car. So <laughs> anyway, that's where I put all that stuff. Um, target capture by zone and distance. Target capture by distance. I always just do the by distance because if they're off to the side but they're closer, I kind of want to know that. So that's what I do there. And I speak English in case you didn't know. So where are we at? 20 minutes. Well, let's just get rid of that. All right, guys. That's it for today's episode. Hope you learned something. See you at the beacon. We're about out.